Good morning, everyone. My name is Elton Moore, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Celesta, Crown of the Magister. Where we left last time, we were kind of in the zone trying to figure out what to do. Um, I did identify the plate armor that we just picked up recently. It is actually really cool. I'm going to show you guys. It's it's just plate plus one, but it changed our whole appearance. Look at how cool our fighter looks now. He actually looks pretty awesome. I'm also not entirely sure if the half plate counts as heavy or medium armor. It is medium, so actually our dwarven friend here can wear it. She's currently wearing breastplate plus one. I think this is technically not better. Splendid half Oh, we never actually identified that splendid half plate armor. Let's do another quick ritual cast of identify. I'm guessing it's uh, splendid half, or it's half plate plus one, obviously, but so it's probably one better than our current armor, I'm hoping. Yes. So she'll be at 19 armor class. Also looks more tanky, which is good for her because she is slightly a tanky character. She's actually only got one hit point less than our fighter, but look at how cool he looks now. He would have more hit points if I were to just jam a shield on him. Or sorry, not hit points, armor class, but we haven't done that. It's also a velvet mask. I'm not entirely sure what that does. We have two of them now. Just not sure what they, they do. We can clear out some space by reading these things. These are just um, patterns. So if we do this, then we just close those. Oh, I see. The close up there. Reach the escape. Whatever works. But we'll deal with all of that stuff as soon as we get back to town. There is, of course, this thing. Let's go stand on it. Then we go here. Okay, so we need to split our group. Let's try two on each. No, we need all four on one. Okay, so we'll just I see. All right, let's go with this one. I think we took a wrong turn. I think so. Oh, it's the pattern on the wall. Okay. Where do we end up now? Inside of this room, which is not particularly useful. All right, let's go back to where we were. Wishing to get back out to here. Jump onto this. Teleport out. So, I think we go down on that one. I guess we set the teleporter. Yes, it is a teleporter. Oh, we need to reset. Oh, I see. I see what it's saying. I think this slab has triggered something. Alright, so you are. No one's setting the right place. Everyone. Meet in the central chamber here. You can stand on this one. Who's next? You're coming through, so you go stand on this one. We got this. We're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna quick save before using each teleporter so we don't have to do this again. Alright. We went in this one this time, I believe. Or last time, I believe. Not sure which way is the right way, though. Okay. Like, are there any other glowy ones we can go on? It doesn't look like it, so I think it has to be this one. One was glow. Oh, wait, don't, 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 don't leave. Don't leave. Don't, don't, don't go anywhere. There we go. That's better. For some reason, it wasn't letting us. Touch that thing. Okay, so we got that first one. All right, all right. Now we're in this room, which is where we were before. So let's head back out that way. Then we use the down one, I guess. Oh, it's which side of the circle? We've already done one side of the circle, I think. I'm not entirely sure exactly what it's planning on for us to do, but. Okay, we're gonna save because I just can't be bothered to do this over and over and over and over again. That's leading out. Um, that one is active, but so is so are those two. All right, let's just uh, 
try this one. We've saved. I think this slab has triggered something. Yeah, whatever. It just does it. Did it reset? No. But it also didn't do anything. Alright. Try this one. Everyone gather up. We can also do a long rest, but let's figure out this puzzle first. I heard some kind of mechanism. All right, last one on this level. It's gotta be one of these, right? Because not all of them reset it. Uh, not everyone's here. We're missing two people who got stuck on the door. This is fine. They are on their way over. Gotta be this one. Some kind of mechanism. There we go. Sweet. What's next on our list of things to do? There's one in here that we can do. We grab the things from that box, I think, right? Yeah. Well, oh, maybe if. What if we figure out this puzzle and then we have to go somewhere? It's probably a teleporter. I'm guessing we can just have to go on it, so we can definitely long rest here. I'm pretty sure get our level. And we'll be fine to go. Press the button. What's next? Okay, that one's done. Now we just have one option, it looks like. Save again. Now we have one left to go. I don't know about those exterior ones, but... Let's try this last one out. Very confusing puzzle. I think this one is to get something. Nice. We now have a glowy boy. We're not gonna use it yet. We need to go up stairs. How do we get out of here? Oh, we're back in the main room. Okay. Uh, let's go up here. And we'll do a long rest, gain our level, which should, in theory, help us against that vampire later on because she is killer strong. We had to we had to rest for 13 hours to rest for 10 or 8 more hours. That's how our long rests work. We are leveling up. Uh, start level rest. Level up. We're now level 6 fighter. We gained a good amount of hit points. We are going to take... Uh, let's take a look at feats. It's possible we're going to go with feet. It's also equally possible we're going to go with strength. Because that plus 1 to hit and plus 1 damage is always good. Let's see what we can do. Plus 1 AC is pretty nice. Plus 1 strength. Or sorry, plus one strength and proficiency in strength saves if not always already proficient. We don't need that. Eager for battle plus dex. What's your constitution and I wonder if that ad or is retroactive or stuff like that, but hard to kill. Nice haulers. Okay. Plus one sorry. Increase your strength by one and your carrying capacity is doubled, which is actually kind of nice. Lockbreaker and Master Alchemist. None of those are Particularly good for what we want, Twin Blade. If you're about to get hit by a melee attack while dual wielding. Not Sword and Shield, you can use reaction to get plus three armor. We don't dual wield, so that's not going to be a thing we're going to do. Ambidextrous is pretty cool. We already have that with our Rogue, I believe. Hmm. When you attack, I don't think we're, I think we're just gonna go with um, the ability score upgrade right now. We need that strength. A Twenty strength, which is pretty damn good. That plus one to hit and plus one damage will be pretty nice. All right, leveling up. She might not go with the. She not get a feat at this level. Class expertise. 
you choose trade two strain skills or thieves tools to become expert double proficiency we're going to take these tools for sure because we are bad at that and hmm You only take either acrobatic sleight of hand or stealth or deception performance persuasion. Persuasion wouldn't be bad. Doesn't have good insight, which is kind of what you may have needed, but let's go with persuasion. Or no, sorry. Let's change this. Let's go with thieves tools for sure. Let's also go with stealth. We can keep her stealth, she can do a lot of damage with her bow. That's probably the better choice in those. Leveling up. Level 6 Cleric. More level 3 spell slots. By 1. Prep spells. Everyone kind of mentioned that Spirit Guardians is really good, and I absolutely agree it is. So let's just lose Mass Healing Ward, because we already have Prayer of Healing, which should be fine. And Gotney Bolt is kind of useful, so I'm going to swap these two out. There. Leveling up our wizard. She gets two more spells to select and one more third level spell slot, which is fine. Fireball's pretty good. I wish hasted more than one person, but here we are. Lightning Bolt's very powerful. Fireball is extremely powerful. I'm going to pick fireball. I'm also going to pick... we have fly, right? Slow could be useful. Spider climb is not the worst. Knock is pretty good. No, we can take knock. I like knock. We do have a rogue, but we... There might be some chests and stuff we can't actually lockpick, or we suck so badly at them. We can try and knock them open, so to speak. Let's prep spells. We never use burning hands. Let's grab. Where's knock? Why isn't it? Oh, it might be a ritual cast. Otherwise, we have identify. There's knock. I'm just incredibly blind. It's very early in the morning, guys. Just bear with me while I am horrible at life. Let's grab a fireball. All right, I think we're good. We have leveled up. Time to go in the weird teleporty. I think we got through here just fine. Look at that box. I don't think we need to, but it's just kind of weirdly positioned. Anyways, let's go. Now our rogue can probably sneak attack for days with her stealth. She's got a plus 10 to stealth, which is, in 5th edition, it's actually really high. And Pathfinder is not really all that good for our level, but... Where are we? Should we hop down and go in there? I guess we found some skeletons. Still in the main room, aren't we? No. I don't think we are. There's a skeleton down here. Let's hop down and go fight it. I guess we're hopping down. Don't know much which way. I think we go up these stairs later on. Now nah, we'll just dash and stand beside him. And stand here. Rogue can definitely get in there and fight. She didn't get a feat this level, which I think is normal. Oh. Fourteen misses these skeletons, so they are pretty beefy. Staying up here is perfectly fine for her. Uh, she fireball down, which is a disadvantage. Why? Darkness? Must be out of range of her dark vision. Although... Look at that, that was some solid damage. Killed one instantly. Dropped a thing on them. We're not going to use our 
special thingy yet. There are two more skeleton archers down there still. There's also, I think, like a trap on the floor. I saw something when we were... Targeting. It's possible that I was just scrolling over that... Um, this folly thingy. Okay, they missed. Plus three hit is not very good, so they're pretty low level skeletons. That one's a disadvantage. Probably due to darkness and range, I'm guessing. That one has two attacks at the very least, which is a very annoying thing. Let's... Yeah, we're definitely in darkness. We still can hit, because we have a pretty beefy plus to hit now. Plus nine to hit is pretty good. Hers is not so high. But that being said, we did kill it. But we missed the second one. That's fine. Um... Alright, so what we're gonna do... Make some dancing lights. Move them to here. Move them to here. Uh, it's being very strange. The box is kind of throwing off. Okay, fine. Don't move it then. Just stay right there. Uh, we can't really do anything else, so next turn. It critically missed us, and it... did hit us, but we uncanny dodged, so we took half damage. Really didn't do all that much to us. And we missed entirely with our plus 7 to hit. Of course, it did much better at shooting than we did. That one still has disadvantage, which is nice. Still disadvantage to hit, because... Well, we critically missed that one. Second attack. Much better. We would have. Crit? It's a crit range on a great sword, I can't remember. Is there a crit range? Does that exist in 5e? Hmm. She always flubs her second attack in this fight. I don't know why. Anywho, casting spell. We should be able to see these guys better now. No, we're still at disadvantage. Maybe due to range. That being said, we did hit it for 7. <clears throat> now, can we move you? We're very annoying to try and move. There we go. So you can only move it once a turn. I guess you can't move it the first turn you summon it. That's gonna hurt. We uncanny dodged again for half damage. And killed the enforcer. Move up. No traps, it seems. Shot at the wall. Hit our nothing. Oh, right, because she got new armor. She's got 19 armor now. Uh, we're gonna dash and move straight into melee. With both of them. We can't hit either of them, but we're gonna use cunning action to dash, and we should be able to sneak attack this guy. Then we just have that one left. Yeah. Oh, she successfully hit something. Good job. Is this slightly closer? Yes. Q. Good hit. Solid damage. Killed it. Alright. Keep our dancing lights with us because why not? I think it's a concentration effect. And that's, that's perfectly fine with me. I will say in this game, like the swords and stuff look really cool. They actually look sort of realistic. They're not over the top, which is kind of nice. Usually fantasy has very over the top weapons. I think the Warhammer is a bit big for what a Warhammer was in like, history. The sword doesn't look too bad, the greatsword. Rapiers look pretty, pretty accurate. The axe head is, I mean, she's a dwarf, so she's small, so it's probably pretty normal, but I think this particular one that's a bit big for a Warhammer head. Kind of want it smaller. You want to focus all the the uh, the energy of the Warhammer into a smaller area rather than like a big blunt area. But whatever. Not really here nor there. There's a wall panel. I don't know what it does. 
What's wrong with all these mirrors? Question, oh dear. That door does open though. Guessing we have to make a light, probably. Oops. You know what? Let's just No, we don't lead all. Just take that, take that, take that, take that, that, that. And that simple mace is not something we're gonna grab at this particular second. There's a button here. What's the button do? I don't know. Oh, okay. why are we pushing from this side? I'm kind of confused, but all right. I thought we'd push it down so we could climb up easier. Oh, I guess people can jump across now. Fair enough. There's a creepy dude just standing here. We're gonna wait till everyone gets here and then we're probably gonna have to fight him. Yep, it's a white. And we rolled abysmally bad on our initiative, but it rolled worse. Shocking everyone. Um, I'm gonna go here. Do a hit. Not do a hit, I guess. Oh, uh, we don't need to heal or anything. We're fine. Go here. We have disadvantage because light. Still hit, though. Plus nine to hit is pretty good. We did some good damage to him. Um, we could cast the light spell, which, you know, honestly might be the best choice for us. And then she can kind of just come over here and light up the area with her smile. All right, let's kill him. Or we can miss entirely and not hit him. He has damage resistance against non-magical weapons. She really needs magical weapons. That's gonna hurt. Not really, though. This is doing a lot less damage than I really thought it was going to for a white. Come on, cleric. Breaking my heart here. Alright, warrior, you got this. I was honestly expecting that to be a little tougher. I heard some kind of mechanism. Gold locket. And that's it. It's this thing. This is what lured me over here to start with. It's a random bag of loot. Which is actually not that exciting. To be completely fair. Right then. That was a thieves tools check. I'm glad we made it. Cause we have not in the past. Well, I can't really see down there. So you. Here. There's a button down here. Press the button. It'll be fine. Doesn't look like there's any enemies down there. A whole bunch of quests just updated. Oh, I see. We can just walk up to this door. It's also this mirror, though. I'm imagining there's still gonna be a puzzle to do with this first situation. It's a very old painting. Nothing. Have we done everything? Did we loot that? Yes, we just didn't take the mace. Empty. Empty. Mock doors. I think we successfully made it in. A skeletal sorcerer. Well, I mean, we did make it in, technically. Running action. Dash, let's get in there and just start smacking things around. What's in here? Total. Skeletal knight and a white and... You know what? We should have fought out here. Let's just, uh, let's go back in time one second. Did you not oh, I hit the wrong button? 
It's possible I hit the wrong button. Let's go back in time. Let's fight out in the hallway. I think that's going to be the better choice. And we can actually make it a little bit of a bottleneck. We don't really want to charge into the room. Let's just set up our people. Get our rogue. Cleric here. It's only one sorcerer and some knights, so shouldn't be too bad. Ugh, our initiative rolls are bad. So are theirs. We actually rolled much better than they did. We're gonna just... Move to here. Ready melee. Move to here. Ready melee. Move to there. Start nuking the sorcerer, I guess. Miss entirely. Good. Perfect. Why did the white not do anything? Back. Ready, melee. Someone come at me. There's the white. Why does it have a disadvantage? I'm already all ready attacks. There we go. I guess diagonal doesn't count as a ready to attack area. That's weird. Wasn't anticipating that to be completely fair. There's a lot of skeletons in here. What will save do we just fail at? Slow. That's fine. We don't get a bonus action. This is this is okay. We'll just kill this thing anyways. We could fireball. We could literally kill probably all those three. Is that gonna hit our group members? Do we wanna go one further away? No, we can definitely hit that guy. I think we're good there. What do you mean cat oh fine, whatever. Are you slowed too? No, you're not. Okay, good. So you can kill that one. Now. Right, we have no reactions. So has disadvantage to hit. That's I don't know why. Stop shooting my wizard. Warrior Frost. We're now hindered. Hit him for 10. Do we have to- oh no, we're still slow. Make your wisdom save. Thank you. You've also made your wisdom save. Oh, we don't need branding smite, we're fine. She has not made her wisdom save. Let's just fire bolt the sorcerer. Hit the wall. Solid critical miss. Let's beat this thing to death. Might be able to take it down with an action surge. Yeah, let's do it. Might have been a waste, but I wanted to get into this room. Why does he have three attacks? He doesn't have haste. Does he have- oh, is, did he get his third attack? I guess he might have. And a reaction. That'll kill that one. I mean, our fighter's getting pretty good. That hurt a little, but not too much. Well, that was a bad place for the sorcerer to stand. Great in critical attack range. Or not critical, but sneak attack range. Of course, that would you know be more important if we could roll higher. <laughs> Luckily, our fighter doesn't need to roll super high to hit things now. Come on, wizard man! Wait, it's another white where? Oh, 
It's very dark in this room. I'm gonna see if I can kill the archer first. Did. All right, let's move in. Finally missed. No third attack. Fine. It's gonna hurt. Ow. Would you stop missing so badly every attack? Thank you. We didn't get a sneak attack because our stupid cleric got knocked away. Thank you. Finally dead. We need to get into that room. Fight that last white. There's a lot of enemies in this room. Can't see the white. Let's move here. We should have used bigger spells. Although we did try to use one and it flubbed because we were slowed. That actually really hurt. We need a prayer of healing after this. We'll just beat each other to death with swords. Alright, get into sneaky attack mode. Please do good. Thank you. Need a magic weapon for her so badly. Maybe it's just the resist piercing damage in general is resistant to. Didn't mean to move all the way over there, but that's fine. Whatever. Okay, wizard. Yeah, I know you haven't done anything this fight. Literally nothing, I don't think. So, I'm just gonna get you to magic missile, because I really don't want to do another round of combat. Alright. So we got a bit hurt. We got a bit fucked up. Let's do a prayer of healing. That'll do. I mean, it's not the uh, full hit points. We can use, um, like a short rest if we need to later on. Engraved bone dice. Sounds cool. Nothing else special on the bodies, unfortunately. A ring. Or, sorry, a bracelet, not a ring. Leaving all of this junk here. Scavengers Guild can come get it for us. Too much stuff to carry. Spirit and Flesh Advanced Studies in Necromancy. That sounds about accurate. We've made it. Who are you? How did you get in here? Master Mardracht? You know my name? How do you know my name? We represent the Legacy Council, Master, and we mean you no harm. No harm. <laughs> no harm, they say. They always say that. Always. They lie. Get out! I can still defend myself, you know. Um... We want to save Salasta. You're right to fear us, and those who sent us. We are powerful, but you don't have to die. The gods have commanded us to kill you. I knew it. But we don't need to do that if you'll help us. We must have the gem of necromancy. Gem, but... But without your gem, we can't remake the crown. Without the crown, we can't defeat the gods. We succeeded, hooray. I... The gods? I, I don't... The crown? This is what you came for. Take it and leave me alone. So that's it. Yes, I can feel its power. It's incredible. Don't let it overwhelm you. Necromancy is dark magic. That's right. We should probably sell it. How much do you think a smallish palace costs these days? Stop it. You know we can't do that. We must get it back to the council. Can't blame you for trying. Alright, we've got a ton of experience. We got 
bunch of achievements, honestly, for that. Now, he's no longer in this room, is he? Kind of gone off on his own. What's that? Oh, that's a gateway. No visible lock the door. Can't be open. So he's not here. Let's just see if we can open this chest. We say it first. We got a bag of holding, which is actually really good. And an unidentified potion, which is sort of okay, I guess. We didn't kill Madrakt, which is fine. I wonder if we can kill his little protege, though, still. Now, what's the difference between you? Okay. I'm not going to use the major gate because I kind of want to go fight the other person. We also need to short rest, though. So we are a little hurt. Let's uh, do a short rest. It's weird how you have to confirm your short rests. Nope, that was a bad roll. Well, it's a better roll. We'll get a long rest in eventually. Lord, all right. Can we attune? One tall saving. Sorry, one second. Freaking random sneezes, man. Um. Tune item. Let's give him this item. That plus one AC will be really good for tanking the Vampiris. Alright. He's a tuner. He has the ring on. Plus one to all saving throws. Plus one to AC. He's got 21 AC now. Which is actually pretty high. Alright. Let's see what happens when we go through this little gateway. Oh. Uh, yeah. Let's go back in. We can wander back through the castle. I think. We'll be allowed to, hopefully. Otherwise, we'll kill our way through. It's no big deal. Half a second. Weird mid-video coughing and sneezing fit. Another door. Oh, look at the top. Looks like a magical shield of some sort. How many sorts are there? What we're looking for is up there. We've already gotten it. You sure? This is a different cutscene we've it's obvious. gotten into. The best loot gets the best protection. All right, we have to go. There are ghouls have respawned, but why? Are they going to attack us? Yes. All right. So I'm going to just do all the fights that we have to do, and then I'll restart the video once we get back to the vampire chick and we're going to try and fight her. If she's there, if, if not, we're just going to head back to you, Kara Kiflin. So, I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, we are back. We have reached Aksha's lair again. And we're just going to jam you right there. So I want you right beside. I want some dancing lights, literally right here, so I can see what's going on. Can't deal with stupid disadvantage attacks. We're going to move you here. We're going to need some of that sweet sweet bless basically right away. She can send a little bit further away. Actually, maybe I'll just shoot. No, because piercing damage sucks. Piercing damage always sucks. Does she have any other weapons? Do I have any light weapons just sitting around that I can use that aren't piercing damage? Probably. I mean, a warhammer. That is not a light weapon. I should have figured that, but I had to check. That hurt. So you're going to stand back there. She is going to stand up here. We're going to cast haste on our warrior because he's going to be doing the most damage. In theory. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to start by attacking. That's a better idea. We also shouldn't have our rogue ring, probably. I just remember that there's these weird little creatures. Put her over here. That's fine. This is a fine area. You're fine over here, but I'm going to move this way. Okay. Quick save. We'll see if we can do this fight. Can I attack you? See, we have to steal something first to start the fight. You got it. That is something that I can do. I'll take these things. You must think I was born yesterday. Alright, let's check our initiatives. How'd we do? We did really good, actually. Alright, we're first up. Unfortunately, 
We still have disadvantage because our lights went away. That's our lives, I guess. And since we're not going after any of our wizards, we're just kind of stuck doing disadvantage attacks. We missed our second attack. Okay. So we're gonna not attack in this room. What's our first legendary action? Counter spell. We did our will saves. Not really sure what the point of that attack was. Uh, we are gonna use our cunning attack. We're not quite close enough, which is slightly annoying, but fine. We need bless and we need light. Come on. All right, fine. What's legendary action two this round? Half the damage for that. Uh, we took a bit. Not much. Took uh, three damage. Alright, first up is Bless. Now we need to switch back to our other thing. We're gonna use. I mean, Guiding Bolt's also good, but it isn't what we're gonna need in this particular fight. I was kinda hoping to give her a Bless, but she was a little bit too far away. This is fine. Moving in. Actually, just stay back for now. can sparkle the area. Is there anything that we can sparkle? I mean, these things, but that's really kind of useless, so no. Legendary action again. Stop that attack stuff. Alright. Casting a spell. We need light. So we're going to cast light. Now we're going to cast dancing lights. This right behind is fine. Illuminate the area. Now we're going to cast a spell. No, we, can't. we can use Arcane Fury next turn, but not for now. She did regenerate when she did attack, and she missed. She You're hit still in the fight, for my friend. a bunch. Not as much as I would have thought. Error, sorry, AOO. 10 damage on the Brood of Blood. It's gone after our Cleric. It can walk surprisingly fast. Or Thrall Vampires, basically. Okay, round two. Here we go. Off we go. We can actually see now, you so we're just gonna start just beating her in the face. He's only gonna get two, well, three attacks this round, plus the... Oh, come on. <laughs> this is the time of the day we don't need to be critically missing. Uh, we could heal, but we don't really need to, so... Round one, action. She's absorbed some health from that thing. It's fine. Take attack no absorption, but that's also okay. Uh, Missed our next attack. Speak of why would we want to hit? Her next action again is blind, which is bad. But really can't do anything about that at the moment. Uh, we we're going to cast. We could cast Spirit Guardians. We'd lose Bless. But it actually might be a better idea. Uh, I'll board for a second. Move her here. We'll take some AOOs. That's just what's gonna happen. I wonder if Dark Veil is a concentration related thing. Anyways, here, Guardians, let's do this. This might be a really good idea. Could be a really bad idea. Guess we'll find out. Our Bless wore off, but we are now Spirit Guardian in Guardianing. Also, our dancing lights went away, which is kind of irritating as well. She flew up in the air like an asshole. Alright. We have disadvantage to hit her? Why? We're not blinded. Is she blinded? Is she blind herself? She's unlit, but that shouldn't matter. She's an elf. That's a terrible plan. Um. Why are we disadvantaged? To tell us. Doesn't really say, does it? Okay, it's a little bored. Then we'll just cast. Can't cast fly on him. That's annoying. Okay, well then, what do we do? I guess we can just hammer some magic missiles. They always hit. We actually rolled pretty well on those attacks. 
landed up here? No, she's just standing there. That hurt a little bit, but not actually too much. Opportunity attack on the Brood of Blood. Did hit us for quite a bit of damage. And then it disengaged. It is weird that it can do that, but whatever. Ow, stop that. Okay, unfortunately we can't see, so we're gonna have to move. More coming your way. Let's just open up one of them. Critically missed, of course, because why would we want to hit things? Uh we'll use second. That was a terrible roll. Back to doing his legendary actions. Succeeded on most of our saving throws. What did we unsave? We're drained. Our maximum points are lowered until we rest. Yeah. Fine, whatever. We have a disadvantage hit, so we can't sneak attack anymore. Um, since I guess guardians spirits will have to come over here. Can't really hit her with them. She's too high up in the air. Try and unblind him. Didn't work. Oh, are you okay? It doesn't take any damage, technically. She has healed a ton, though, which is very annoying. I think we have to restart the fight. Alright. She's gone upstairs. We need to be downstairs. We can't have our group separated, even though it's nice having our wizard farther away. The fact that she got just destroyed up there and just constantly drained and we can't get really get up to the vampress that quickly also she got really hit point drained she was down to 26 life let's just put her behind the vampire that's what we'll do. then she should actually be close enough to uh anything closer we can steal yeah this thing You must think I was born yesterday. Let's get a good roll, please. Good initiative rolls. Fingers crossed. Oh, that wasn't bad. Most of our group goes first, except for our wizard. Perhaps the more annoying of them. This is fine. You'll die like the rest. Solid hits for the first round. Let's just keep going. Last attack is always the worst one. You should never do it. It's your first action. We succeeded all of our will saves. Excellent. That's really good. Come on. She doesn't have that much armor. You just gotta roll more than the seven. That's a round two. You drained some life from her little thing there. Alright, um, gonna go with light, I think, or amulet or something. And what else can we do? Smiting blow. Oh, boy. She attacked, didn't do anything, and she attacked again, missed again. She's hurt pretty badly. We need to cast haste now. That time of day, so we're going to do as much damage as we possibly can the next round. What else can we do? Nothing yet. If you cast dark, I'm going to be... Ah... That's such an annoying, stupid ability. I hate that. That's okay. You know what? Fine. It'll be okay as long as she doesn't transport around like an idiot. Except we can't hit at a 15, so that's bad. Again, harder. We did do a bunch of damage. She's almost dead. 
We don't need a second wind, do we? What's next? Stole 10 hit points from her brood. That's fine. Disadvantage on our hits. We still managed to hit. But even with disadvantage, she can't do much because uh, now she doesn't get anyway. to. Con save was fine. So she didn't drain a bunch of life, which is good. Do we turn undead and hope that it moves the brute? It, I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's worth the attempt. You know, we do have Branding Smite, we should probably try and use it. Branding Smite worked. She is now glowing, but she's in the dark, so it doesn't really matter too much. So close to death. She did regenerate a ton of life. Though. Everyone's in the dark. You don't have to be in the light to take a fireball, though. Do we risk some serious save in combat? Can okay, cool. This is going quite well, so I'm gonna. Can I just fireball? Okay, so move. We're just gonna fireball right here. You can see there. Sometimes you gotta just do what you can do. That actually I think hurt us more than it hurt her, but... Is this again? Let's try that one more time. We're gonna use the uh, arcane power first. A little extra damage. So apparently there's an achievement for fireballing your own team I just got. It's called Worth It. Which is pretty funny. I think, personally. Alright. So we're going to use power, arcane fury. Fireball is definitely an evocation spell. There, that was pretty cool. Luckily we still have that save because that was a lot of damage. We succeeded at our saves. The broods are actually mostly dead, which is kind of nice. But so are we, so we took some serious damage there. They both disengaged off, weird. Anywho. Wait, why are we lethargic? What does that mean? We're not Why do we move why do we lose our attack? Wait till the next one. Okay, maybe we don't do the fireball, because I think Maybe the fireball gave us lethargic? That should be the drain ability, though, right? I don't think that's anything to do with a fireball. Fireballs don't cause a lethargy. Unless shooting your own teammates causes a lethargy. What does he got here? Dark Veil and Hastened. So yeah, there's nothing weird about his current situation. Alright, well, I guess we'll not do that, and we'll just do this instead. Can't see her, so that's not gonna work. Can I cast... An evocation spell? Yes. Alright, what we can do, which isn't as good, but actually might be more useful in the long run. We use Arcane Fury, right? Step forward so we can be in line of sight of her. We'll use a third level magic missile. We're just gonna open up with six magic missiles on her. Can't miss magic missile, so. There we go. We're gonna do that next turn too. Unless we die. Missed. Good. It missed. It missed again. Maybe it's claws or something gave us lethargy? We need we just need to hear like one turn worth that do. Nothing. Okay. Bye. Alright, so he's, he can attack this round. I don't know what happened last time. But we really need to kill her. She is now dead. We finally won. And the darkness wore off. We have to maintain that darkness. Wait till the next one. How did these guys- oh, we didn't fireball them, right? I was like, how did they heal so much, but they didn't. We just didn't blow up our own group this time. Um, I'm just gonna switch to bow, I guess. Here, and... 
That was a terrible shot. Let's just come over here, get some light there. We're going to be resting after this anyway, so I'm just going to start blasting away with some high level spells. We don't have any third level spells left, so we're going second. Let's just make sure that one dies. Come on. It's got like two life left. It died. Did the... What happened? Are they disintegrating? We're never going to get not disadvantage. Critical miss. Come on. Normal miss. Oh, we have a third attack, right? We're finally getting some decent rolls at least. Sometimes. Shoot him from here. No. Can you here? Nope. Can you cunning action dash here? A miss. Yes, another miss. Nobody asked your opinion. Don't let her flee. You want the experience for killing her. If we move here, I could definitely hit her. We'll use Scorching Ray or something like that. Let's see what we got. This should do some serious damage if it hits. Hit. Well, two out of four hit. Stop running around, it's very annoying. Stop running out of the light, it's even more annoying. You're just prolonging this fight longer than it needs to be. Switching swords. Get in here. Yes, so close. Of course. Ah. We just need one hit, and we're not going to get it for like the next three rounds. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. We got it. We got it. We're fine. 1300 experience. That was actually not so bad. He died. Now we can loot the whole room. Oh, some good stuff in here, like a primed greatsword. We can make a magical greatsword. We already looted this one. That's what we started the fight with. all this cool stuff for me. Splendid half plate. Or slightly encumbered. That's fine. I guess we could have shot these open too for some light, but I don't know if that would have done anything. Alright, I think we're free and clear to get out of here. How did I get into here now? There's doors, right? Around. We just gotta find one. Ground floor entrance. Oh, there. What do you mean the path is blocked? Walk here. Where can you get to so I can just get you up this path? Alright, fine, we'll go through the old way. We can actually take the grand teleporter back, probably, but we're gonna do that in the next video. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.